In this video, I've got the macho male friendly version of the Porn Star Martini using this awesome 65%, 130 proof passion fruit rum. All right, I know, I know before the haters come in, there is nothing wrong with the Porn Star Martini for blokes, but I just need to preface this because it is really, really funny. Uh, I've done a lot of events in the past. I'm doing a lot of Zoom cocktail, online cocktail masterclasses now. And it's always this thing when I do, um, men at an event, they always look at the porn star martini. It's the glass, I think, more than anything that puts them off. They'll be like, oh yeah, and they'll make the fun with the little fingers. And it's just a bit of fun. When they taste it, they're like, oh, that's really good. But they still feel guilty about the glass. So what I'm aiming to do with this cocktail is make it a little bit more macho. That is all, and it is amazing. I know there's gonna be a fair few of you women watching this as well that are absolutely gonna love it. I can think of two especially that are absolutely gonna love this. So, um, this, with the pot, I'm kind of keeping, I'm gonna do a lot of um, porn star martini twists coming up over the next few months with the whole kind of essence of keeping to the whole passion fruit and vanilla thing, but there's so many things we could do with this. So. Uh, this one, I'm going to get, I'm going to say about as manly glass as I've got. I could go sort of tiki, tiki glass like that if I want to, but I'm going for a sort of a highball glass. Um, again, just to make it sort of look a bit more and a bit taller. So, right, and here is the thing, because this is the ingredient that is going to make this drink. It is amazing. This is my second bottle of this, um, and I feel really bad that I haven't used Tom's uh, stuff, uh, Rockstar Spirit stuff, even more in these uh, videos. This is his other brands of stuff. Uh, I've got his two swallows, not much left there, and the salted caramel. He's also uh, obviously got the other grenades as well, pineapple grenade, passion fruit, uh, grapefruit grenade as well. But this is the, and he's just released a banana one as well. So, this is the one. Now, to talk you through the grenades, this is 65% ABV, 130 proof. All right? And it is just... <laughs> oh, it's so good. So, so good. Right. Let's crack on. Let's make this cocktail. Uh, because it's 65%, I'm going 35 mil. So this is my passion fruit. Um, part of my passion fruit. And there's another bit coming. Uh, so that's that. Now for the vanilla, instead of vanilla sugar, I want a vanilla lead spiced rum. There's plenty that you can use. I'm just going uh, DMF. It's kind of got big notes of vanilla in there for me. Uh, you could use old J. You could use bamboo. And I've got a bit of bamboo up here as well. So you can't see the top shelf. I just got a bit of bamboo there as well. All these kind of vanilla lead spiced rums. So that is what I'm going. I'm just going... Um, so I'm just going 15 mil of uh, DMF for spiced. One five, whoopsie, nearly 25. Here we go, 15 mil. Right, then we are going uh, 25 mil of lime juice. I am going, oh, I'll go puree next actually. I'm going for some passion fruit puree. Uh, and that's just the brand I use. You could use Funkin, but just bearing in mind, this has got a little bit of sugar added to it, whereas Funkin hasn't. So you need to kind of balance the sugar recipe. I'm not using any additional sugar in this. So uh, I just want 15 mil of passion fruit puree. In there. There we go. I'm going for, just to kind of get, because the Paul Star Martinis, the Pessoa kind of makes it red. So just to get my red, I'm just going for a little touch of grenadine. Uh, again, not much. I just, I'm probably just going five mil in here actually. Five mil of grenadine. There we go. That will be perfect. And then the final ingredient, instead of uh, Rubicon passion fruit juice, I am just going to use pineapple juice. So we've got the big bad passion fruit notes of that and the puree. We've got vanilla notes coming through from the spiced rum. So we've got our two main vanilla and passion fruit things there. I just want 50 ml of pine, uh, pineapple juice, pressed, 100% pressed pineapple juice. Pressed pineapple juice, even if it's supermarket, will taste so much better uh, than concentrate stuff. So 50 ml, and I'm just gonna wash the puree and the grenadine out of there. So 25 and 50 mil. And I promise you, you do not need to add too much more uh, pineapple juice than that. Don't think about adding 100 mil, you'll just kind of dilute the cocktail a bit more. Right, so I'm just gonna shake this down. 
go. Plenty of ice. Right, and then we just need to shake it hard and fast, proper welly. Oh, I cannot wait for this. This is going to be amazing. There we go. All that puree is blended in. Now, as I always say in my videos, if you're in a pub or a bar, uh, fresh ice and, um, and then to, uh, just more premium, that's all. But if you're at home, literally just do that. Amazing. Now I'm just going to top it up with crushed ice. There we go. And then just to garnish, we, uh, I'm just going for another, I'm going for a half a passion fruit here. So I'm just going to do that. Lovely half a passion fruit. Let's make a little well for it. And there we go. The macho version of the porn star martini. You could, you could even do, if you want the side shot to go with it, you could do beer, side shot of beer, something like that, a lovely uh, kind of fruity IPA or, or something like that, a sour, some, something like that. Uh. <laughs> oh, that comes through. Oh, that is, honestly. That is delightful. If you make this, let me know in the comments below. The passion fruit notes. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. 